News Now, your first alert station. I can tell you from having responded to the scene uh, with my team, um, this was a catastrophic scene. Sioux Falls Police describing a deadly crash involving seven teens over the weekend. Good evening, I'm Andrea Anderson. I'm Brian Allen. Police tonight still investigating that crash resulting in the deaths of two 15 year olds where speed was a factor and seat belt use is in question at this hour. It is our top story here at six o'clock. The crash happened just after six Saturday morning in central Sioux Falls. According to police, an SUV was heading east when it lost control and hit a tree. The vehicle continued until it ran into a home in the area. When officers arrived, they found two people dead. Identified as Milana Reeves and Eric Hopkins, both 15 years old, both from Sioux Falls. Five other teens were in the vehicle at the time of the crash, their ages ranging from 13 to 17 years old. All suffering injuries listed as serious to critical, but stable. We can definitively say at a minimum the speed was a contributing factor to this crash. Um, we are also looking into whether alcohol and drugs play uh, a factor as well, but um, that we have to wait for toxicology, all that good stuff. But we do have evidence on scene, including video evidence from nearby locations, um, along with witness statements that we can definitively say a very high rate of speed um, was one of the contri or contributing factors to this crash. Police went on to say that it was a single vehicle crash and no other vehicles were involved. The people inside the home were not injured. Coping with loss is different and difficult for everyone. And following the tragic loss of two Sioux Falls students, the school district is springing into action. They are aiming to address the needs of students and staff as they battle grief. Cordell Wright joins us in studio with continuing coverage tonight. Cordell. Good evening, Brian and Andrea. The weight of this tragedy creates heavy hearts for young students that knew those who were lost. Many are left asking questions, looking for answers as they look to find something to know as to what has happened. No matter what though, the Sioux Falls School District wants to let people know they're here to help. A lot of people ask, well, how did this happen? What were the circumstances? And that is not the important thing right now. The important thing right now is how do we care for people? That is Sioux Falls School District Assistant Superintendent Jamie Nold reminding people to focus on what's important after tragedy strikes. We will always remember you. He says the first thing that the school district does is make contact with the families of those that were involved. Talking with them and let them know that we're thinking of them and caring for them. The next step is forming what they call crisis teams made up of counselors throughout the district. Students that were involved in those classrooms, we want to make sure that we go in and talk to those classes. So those crisis team members will go there and help with that. And then they're also available then throughout the day as students come down and need somebody to talk with. Dr. Nold also noted how the effects of these deaths can still be felt by people that didn't have close relations to those involved conjures up things that have maybe happened in their past, in their history, that now all of a sudden something that may have happened to them a year ago, uh, it brings back some of that emotion. And so those, uh, those crisis team members will help with those kids as well. There were crisis teams at four schools in the Sioux Falls School District Monday, with a focus on Washington High School. And there's other schools that have crisis team members on standby. Right now, Dr. Nold says it's important to be a good friend and a great parent. Lend an ear to someone who may be struggling and be on the lookout for changes in behavior. And really, they just need to see what's not in the norm for my child, uh, what's out of the ordinary for my child. And having family members be there for them is incredibly important. If it's to a point where they feel they need to talk to somebody else and, and get that help to call you know, the school and talk to the counseling department, and there's individuals there that are trained through that process. We love you so much for the kids is just being able to have a chance to talk. Dr. Nold concluded by saying the effects of a tragic loss don't just go away. It takes time to truly deal with grief and to never be afraid to ask for help. You can find links to mental health resources on the Dakota News Now app and website. Brian. Cordell Wright tonight. Cordell, thanks.